All right, so the next project I have is this cute little man jewel. I'm going to put her on a pole and see if she grows up to be as beautiful as some of you guys in jewels. So she came from my big, beautiful mother plant. She had broken off, so I let her root up in here. And now I'm just going to get rid of all this dirt and pot her up. I think the rain is coming soon, so <laughs> I may have to interrupt the video. But let me get moving. It's getting nice and cool. <laughs> all right, hang in there. Looks like the roots came right through the screen I had in the bottom. So let me try to carefully this out. It's really attached. We have to break it. Okay. So I'm just going to go rinse this off. We don't want any dirt on the roots. And hang in there. Be back again. All right, so I am back. And I decided I'm going to put this pole together and then fill it. Now, Here's a little piece of film on this that you should peel. I really like these moss bowls. They're easy to extend later. And the trickiest part is getting this have to fold at the seam. See that? Oh, not quite at the seam there. There we go. The reason why I'm doing this first is because I want to kind of see if it's going to fit comfortably in this pot that I want to use. In the meantime, I have the mandula putty sitting in water. Here are the roots. Uh, so it's getting nice and hydrated there and cleaning off the rest of the dirt. Okay, now we want to do the same on the other side. You find the seam, bend it. Of course, I'll fast forward through this for you. Looking at this here, and I'm really tempted to do the same with the syndapsis silvery and look at the silver in those leaves can you see that it's been sitting out here and it's picked up growth and look at this new leaf how pretty it is from the bright light i guess it's not directly in sun of course these are not those type of plants all right so let's get back to this. You can see, hopefully you can. The whole idea is you're gonna get the little part that looks like an arrow all the way in. It's tricky sometimes, but practice makes perfect. 
I haven't done it in a while. So let's hope my technique works while you're watching. <laughs> I like to get them all kind of in there. So that. Raise that up and kind of pop them in place. I don't hear any of them kind of clicking. You'll know if you didn't do it right because they will pop right back open when you. Okay, kind of hear that click. I think that one is. No, that one is not there. Yeah, see the edge, this part? That's the part you want to be in place. Just got to kind of play with it. Hope you guys can see this. I was not cooperating. Okay, I'm gonna pause this one. Okay, I just have a few more here. hear that click that's what you want to hear kind of pops into place that's how you know you have it right okay I think they're all good that one is now good all right so honestly don't know if you can see any of this but so what I like to do kind of see how it's gonna fit and that's perfect right there You see that part? It's going to be a nice fit. So what I think I'm going to do, this is experimental day for me. <laughs> I'm experimenting with a lot of stuff. I think since I have some liquor balls, I'm going to put them in the bottom. And then we're going to top fill. But I just want to make sure this is nice and secure. And then I'll use a cash bow to... Um, Give it, you know, probably sit it inside a terracotta pot or something when I'm done. All right, so let's see if you're actually seeing what I'm going to do next. I think so. Okay. So let's do a quick test. Oh yeah, this is how I'll put it in there. Like so. All right, put you back in here. Yeah, let's get this done. Thank you. 
I'm also going to put some of these Lekka balls in there. Now, bear with me while I get some of these. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I can show you what I'm going to... Let me just keep rolling, okay? Bear with me, guys, because I have not... done this this way before. I usually fill it up and then put the moss in there. No, put the moss in there, then fold it up and then stand it upright. So let's just put some stuff in there. You'll see it start dropping down. Get shoved it down there like so. Or I'm blocking your view. Sorry about that. Look who's getting in on the scene here. My colocasia is making a comeback. I don't know if you guys watched that video. I was so upset. She was. Ugh. She was contaminated with spider mites. Totally snuck up on me. I don't even know like, how that happened so quickly. So I brought her out here. Did a little work after she was sprayed down. I'm forgetting something major, huh? <laughs> Duh. Okay. Put some of that out. What I'm going to do is take some of this out from behind. I can get it flush against the back, maybe. These lickables would cooperate with me. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to have her in here like so. Okay. Now let's continue filling. I'm not going to fill all the way to the top. Not today. As time goes on and as I see her latching onto the pole, then I will do some more.
All right. These Lucka Balls are not very big, so it's probably a waste to put that in there. Actually coming through the little holes. For this one, since I have this pole, maybe I mean this stick, maybe. No, I don't think I need to stick it in the back. I'll just put it in a cash bow that will hopefully keep it steady. Keep it from toppling over and let's just try to attach her to this pole so she can latch on where did it go here it is so i'm just gonna Hope you guys can see okay and the glare is not too bad from the sunshine i was actually kind of glad before that it was on the cloudy side exciting to think that I might have one of those huge manjulas as this thing latches on. You know that guy that's in uh, his name? <laughs> the name is gone right now, but he's in Australia. He's got such a beautiful manjula. Most of his plants are on poles. I'll put his name on the screen as it comes back to me. <laughs> it should probably be later. <laughs> My bad. It's really hot here in Maryland. And it's kind of nice that there's a little breeze. I think there are storms nearby. Okay now, so here you go, there's my little baby potted up and let me take you inside to see the Monsteras all potted up in their new home. I'm with Alright guys, so here they are in their new homes. And this one will continue the moss as it gets taller <laughs> hopefully this will work i'm excited and these guys hopefully they'll respond well to the change and there we go that's this episode of pot with me 
<laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. You weren't bored to death. Uh, join me next time. Bye. Have a great day.